Hey, sweethearts, it's Rowan again, and I, I thought this was going to be a response to, uh, Fright Summer's video, who, uh, uh, has sparked a couple other response videos, uh, one that I've seen, uh, very, very recently, like yesterday or something, was, uh, from Raven Dracul, and... I'll uh, link her and the Fright Summers video in the uh, description box below, please. But, uh, but you know, I, uh, I kind of see what she's saying, especially given the uh, Black Friday video that I just saw. I don't know. I don't know. I've been home for a while, and long story short, I have the wrong package from the post office. And I did not notice until I got home, which was long after the post office had closed. So I'm in a bit of a mood. And if you have discovered my channel through the comment that I left on Black Friday's video, then welcome. She's part of the problem. Because, see, okay, Fright Summers, uh, she, uh, she, she said in her video that, you know, which is got that clickbaity title that, you know, the goth lifestyle is too expensive. And, you know, I do see what she was saying in that, um, that, um, you know, she, uh, she specifically, uh, looked at the, uh, the, at the, at the back log of videos from both, uh, Toxic Tears and Black Friday. And each of them in 2018, or maybe it was 2017 alone, uh, did these, you know, unboxing haul videos that, I swear to God, have to be sponsored because, you know, there's, there's just, I, I, I just, it, it, it's gotta be sponsored, but, you know, they don't disclose because that way, you know, they not only get, you know, free shit from the companies, they also get monetization from YouTube, so that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's something there, isn't it? And the maths that she did, looking through the back catalog, uh, for at least everything that was still available from these two, br from these brands, from each of these, each of these, honey, I've told you, I'm not in the mood right now. Um, so each one of them, uh, these, these brand, these brand halls, these 20 minute advertisements from each of these young women, um, over the course of a single year, totals tens of thousands of dollars in American money, which is more or less tens of thousands of dollars in Euro, honey. Maybe about two-thirds of tens of thousands of dollars in UK money, and I forget what the Australian and um, conversion rate is, but it's, you know, roughly equal American versus Canadian. But the point... The point remains that it, the, these these two young women each have done you know have done you know sponsored brand videos that you know they don't disclose, um, or you know if they did indeed buy all of these, <sighs> which I highly doubt. But you know if they did in fact buy everything rather than get freebies from the company to make twenty minute advertisements for us all to watch then, you know, that, then they're clearly coming from a position of privilege. And so Black Friday's little, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You, you know, you're part of the problem, dear. You're part of the problem. You know, she's, she starts out saying, oh, I'm, and, I, and I'm so, and I just want to make it clear that yeah, I, I get these messages from people and they're saying, oh, I'd love to be goth, but I can't afford it. And you know why people think they can't afford it? Because you are doing these fucking sponsored videos that you aren't even disclosing that they're sponsored just so you can get double the payday from YouTube, right? You know, you're doing it so you can get double the payday. So you're getting, you're getting these sponsored videos. You're getting these, you know, little free outfits. Like, even if you're only being paid in these fucking free clothes, you're getting tens of thousands of dollars in free clothes every year from these brands so that you can plug it on YouTube and then get double the payday, right? So... That, that is, that is payment. That is something that, you know, if, at least in the States, you would have to claim on your income taxes, right? <laughs> because, I mean, you know, if, if free rent for, you know, a, uh, for a building manager of an apartment 
would count as being paid and you have to claim, you know, what you would be paying, but instead, you know, you're getting it, you know, quote unquote free from the landlord because, you know, you're doing maintenance in the building, then you still have to claim that. So if you're not claiming that on your income taxes, then you clearly owe somebody tax. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, she's part of the fucking problem. She is part of the fucking problem that so many people think, oh, well, I can't afford goth clothes, so, you know, I'm not really a goth, am I? You know, I just like the music. I'm not really a goth. You know what? Here, let's take a look here. So, I'm wearing, um, I don't know, they were in with the, with the ladies' pajamas at the PTO thrift shop, um, uh, in, uh, Ann Arbor, out on Industrial Inn. This was, like, three dollars at a thrift shop. It's my, uh, velvet, um, pajamas. Uh, this beret, oh god, I've had this for years. This beret's from Target. Uh, probably, I don't know, I've had this, like, ten-some years. It's probably gonna be about ten dollars now. I think I paid five a hundred years ago. A uh, little cat enamel pin. This was in a box of four that I split with a friend of mine. Um, I want to say the pins, you know, that was like a box of four of them for like $15. This, this jacket, this goddamn denim jacket. Okay, first off, I got this at Ragstock in downtown Ann Arbor. Um, originally priced, I want to say about $30 for the jacket, but I had a 25% off coupon which they give you a lot if we go to Radstock. So, I got this. Whatever is 25% off of $30. I got a couple other things in there, too. Um, and I, I bought it in white. I dyed it violet myself. Uh, the dye... Uh, I forget exactly what I paid, but the same brand is um, I Dye. That's little I, big D, you know, like iPod or iPad, I Dye. Um... Uh, you want, um, for, uh, pure cotton, you want, you know, just the eye dye for anything with a synthetic, synthetic or a synthetic blend, you want eye dye poly, uh, between, like, five and eight dollars for a little thing, and, um, I do, I, um, I boil, uh, water in a stock pot and dye my clothes that way, and, yeah, I mean, yeah, it takes, you know, a couple hours and you gotta let it drip dry, but, you know, you get clothes in the color you want. Uh, let's see, Sunshine Blind t-shirt, I got this at Convergence 20 in Chicago, oh god, what year is this now, about five years ago, yeah, because, uh, 25 is going to be in Boston, um, in April, so I got this about five years ago, uh, uh I'm trying to remember what Caroline charged me for the t-shirt, I think it was 20, I think it was 20, so, um, and the, uh, and the flannel on underneath the denim, that was, I don't know, five dollars or something at a thrift shop. Um, you know, most of my clothing is thrifted. Um, you know, Raven Dracul was saying that, you know, a lot of her clothing is thrifted. Uh, radically dark. If you watch her videos, uh, if you don't, I highly suggest you do. Um, she is, she's at least ten years younger than me. I, I kind of think, I, I don't know, I, I think I figured out exactly how old she was watching some video last night, and then I immediately forgot, but she's really young. Like, a bit younger, uh, somehow a bit younger than I expected, but also a bit older than I thought she could be. But yeah, she's, a. am um, going to say she's at least 10 years my junior, but she does these DIY videos that are seriously some of the best DIY guides uh, for, um, for goth clothing and accessories that I've seen since the heyday of the zine scene in the mid-1990s. So, you know, like, you know, you'd get people, like, you know, making the little stapled up, you know, zines that would be like, you know, you take the notebook paper and you fold it in half, staple it, staple it, and, you know, people would mail order these to and from each other. That was a thing in the 90s. Um, and I might do a video on it, about it someday. But, you know, and people wouldn't do in these little homemade zines you know, not magazine, but, like, it was a thing, it, you know, zine, that's its own thing, um, you know, do, do these little, uh, and, like, little hand-drawn step-by-step guides on, you know, making, uh, screen print patches, uh, the patches, I don't know, I want to say the patches on this jacket combined probably cost more than the jacket itself did, 
But that's another thing. Like, you don't have to embellish uh, if you don't want to. Um, if you do want to, yeah, you know, it can take some time to, uh, you know, find everything that you like, but it's yours, and it's one of a kind. And, you know, that's one of the great things about DIY is that it doesn't have to be expensive. But I just find it such a... It is such a human embodiment of uh, of Reddit's, you know, quit your bullshit sub that somebody who will do these goddamn paid advertisement videos, you know, 20 minute goddamn advertisements, you know, for Killstar and Punk Rave and shit. She'll do these goddamn, basically a paid advertisement for 20 minutes. You're sitting here watching 25 minutes and then you realize, holy shit, I was just given a fucking commercial. But that's another story for another time. So, and, and she's sit here, sitting here saying that, you know, oh, well, he just, like, DIY and go to the thrift shops. I used to go to thrift shops all the time, you know. I used to do it myself once. And, you know, that's like, it's such a quit your bullshit because you know exactly why these younger people are messaging you on Instagram and whatnot saying, you know, oh, I'd love to be golf, but it's too expensive. Well, you know exactly. And if you don't, it, here's your fucking wake up call between this and my comment I left because you just you just got to quit your goddamn bullshit love cuz y- you know you you are part of the problem you are part of the reason that so many young people think that it's fucking expensive why because in you know in, in one year alone you did these goddamn advertisements for Killstar and Punkrave, totaling tens of thousands of dollars worth of clothing. Who the fuck can afford that? Not your average goth, that's for damn sure. And, you you know, you're part of the problem. You are part of the fucking problem, Missy. And, you know, your, your, your little fan kids can call you mama goth all they want, because you, you're at least ten years younger than me, trust me. I, 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 I... I know, I'm so much older than you, and, you know, you're, you're acting like a complete idiot. You're acting like an idiot. And here's another part of her fucking idiocy, is, she, you know, she moves to Germany, gets married to obtain residency, then gets divorced, and then has the nerve to act annoyed that her residency has been revoked. You know what, you brought it on yourself, toots. That's what happens when you do this kind of bullshit. You know, you get married for residency. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen when it falls apart? You know, what do you think it's going to happen? Like, you knew this guy online for, you know, however long before you moved there. Then you married for residency. Then the relationship broke up. And now you're all pissy and all poor me. And, oh, I'm such an idiot. Just so you know that your little fan kids can, you know, sit there and... You know, tell you, oh, no, you're not stupid, you're not stupid. I'm like, no, you fucking, she fucking is stupid. She's fucking stupid. You know, she has the nerve to complain that a sham marriage that she entered into for fucking German residency has been, you know, and now her residency has been revoked and she's throwing herself a pity party. And, you know, she's part of the problem. She's part of the fucking problem and I fucking had it with her and... Yeah, I'm already in a bad mood because I have to wait three fucking days to get my goddamn accordion out of the po- fucking post office because they gave me the wrong package. And if you if you, if you're on Twitter, you can see me bitching about that. And I'm and I'm probably going to need to take more pills. And because I'm shaking right now, actually. So yeah, I'm already in a bad mood, but I don't care. I, I, I've kind of been thinking this for a while, but I was thinking, you know, how can I be more diplomatic about this? Because, you know, I really tried to be diplomatic about the, uh, the, the other person that I got kind of sick of on, uh, on YouTube. I really tried to be diplomatic. People are coming for me on that still. Like, I made it, um, I made it, like, semi-private for a while, and then I was just like, you know what, fuck it. That's where I was getting some traffic from. So, but still, it's like, I'm still getting people telling me, you, you know, like, like, you know, talking, coming for me, like, I'm, you know, this horrible, horrible idiot, and I'm like, no, I was really trying to be diplomatic about that, and I'm thinking, you know what, if people are going to come for me anyway, they might as well, you know, have, 
have something to, to, to be, you know, to fucking come for me for, right? Because uh, I'm sorry, you know, like, I think I'm done with Black Friday now. I, you know, I have this idea in my head uh, to, you know, show some gratitude to some of my favorite goth tubers uh, later this year, and that's still a secret project, and I am still going to go through with that. It, any possibility that she had has, has it, it's gone now. It's fucking gone. I'm, I'm like, you know, any, anything that she could have done to redeem herself over, you know, anything, because I'd kind of been bored with her shit for like the last year and some, because it's advertising. That's what she does on her channel now. It used to be like these cute little skits that she did with, you know, the, the you know, Mr. Owl guy in New Zealand and, um, you know, these cute little skits. One that I remember was, you know, like goths on laundry day and they're sorting their blacks. And it's hilarious because, you know, I, I've, I've been there. Um, only it's not like what the blacks have faded to. With me, it's sorting them by uh, um, um, basic laundry versus delicates. And I do my denim in, uh, in, a, in the dryer with one of those uh, dry clean sheets, the wool light ones. Um, I don't do the whole dry L bag. It's just, no, it's just too much hassle for the same effect that wool light version. Honey, I, I keep telling you, I know you want to cheer me up. But, uh, but yeah, and, you know, she used to do these cute little skits, these cute little, you know, things about, like, you know, little, little, like, top ten lists and whatever, and then at some point, you know, it was just easier to be a shill for these goddamn companies trying to sell you overpriced shit that, you know, even on the rare occasion that it's something that I actually like, it's too fucking expensive, and I'm like, yeah, how much would I actually wear this? Is it worth saving my money for? And, yeah. I would say no. I would say no. That's why I don't own anything from either of those companies, because it costs too much. And, you know, if I, you know, it costs too much, I'm not a huge fan of it anyway. And on the rare occasion, I am a fan of something, because I, I think nothing about wearing women's clothes. I'm four foot eleven. I'm, you know, I was a goddamn, I was legally recognized as a dwarf until I was 19 years old and shot up about two inches. Ah. Uh, Two and a half inches. Shit. Um, yeah, so on the rare occasion that there is something that I like, I try to weigh it in my head. How much am I actually going to wear this? Like, how many times do I genuinely see myself putting this on, wearing it out, coming back, wearing it again, maybe? Um, and, yeah, so far the, uh, the answer is no. Like, I might wear it once, realistically. Um... I don't know, there was some kind of, um, uh, big shulk. Kitty, seriously. Okay, fine, fine. You're gonna listen to me be a pain in the ass. No, not your ass. Um, but no, it's like, you know, for the last year and some, she's just been advertising at people. Same with Toxic Tears. You know, they, they just, they, 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 they just make these 20 minute advertisements and somehow they, they keep getting subscribers, and I don't understand it. I have I keep thinking, you know, I've had my fill with Toxic Tears as well. Unsubscribe. A few months later, I'm back on, you know, I, I'm back watching, and then I'm like, really, how much, how many times am I going to go through this? And it's the same with her. And it's like, you know, we get these, like, 15 to 20 minute advertisements. And it is. It is. That's exactly what she's doing. She's, like, feeding people commercials. And then she has the nerve to be surprised and think she can reassure people that, oh, no, no, you don't, you don't have to, you know, like, spend gobs of money and tens of thousands of dollars on these wardrobes every year to be a goth. You can just go to the fish shop. I'm like, you know, that, 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 that sounds like great advice, but, you know, what is she doing to back it up? What is she doing to back up that advice? Nothing. Nothing. She's still advertising for these companies, and she thinks nothing of it. You know, she's get, she gets this free merch, tens of thousands of dollars worth of free merchandise, and then thinks that, you know, she can hand-wave, you know, her massive audience, 
and say, oh, no, no, you don't need to spend all this money to be, to be a goth like me. You don't need to spend all this money. You can just go to the thrift shop and, and alter something to yourself. I'm like, no, yeah, you say one thing, you know, and then you do another. It's, you know, do as I say, not as I do kind of thing, right? And, you know, it's like, it's like I said, it's this human embodiment of quit your bullshit. And I, I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done with her fucking idiocy. Especially this bullshit now, with, you know, like, you know, she's ending off this video like, Oh, but I can't go home in Germany. I mean, you told that year and then you did And like, yeah, and after you goddamn marriage dissolved, which was, you know, practically a sham anyway, just so you could have residency. Why are you surprised, lady? Why are you surprised? Like, you do these stupid things, and then you talk about it, you know, and you know exactly what, you know, 90-some percent of your viewership is going to do. They're going to come back, you know, they're going to come and into the comments. They're going to say, oh, no, you don't feel bad. You're so smart. You're so smart and pretty and good and good and kind. And I'm like, but she's doing stupid-ass things. You, you know, seriously, seriously, she's a fucking idiot. Just, like. You know, I really, you know, I know she's a massive presence amongst goth youth, YouTube, but, you know, that, that doesn't mean it's deserved. And I really think that if everybody like myself, and by that I mean, like, 35 years and older, you know, like, of all of the elders at, at first, like, maybe first the elders, you know, the elders definitely, we need to take a stand and just be, you know, and just, like, you know, go on this quit your bullshit, honey, and, you know, like, unsubscribe, or at the very least, you know, just tell it like it is, you know, but then again, she's probably not going to listen for another few years when she gets a little older, and then it, her 30s, her own self, you know, we, we need to, we need to take this stand and, like, every actual goth, because, you know, there's always going to be the trendy kids who see that she has this massive audience, and so they'll assume that, you know, she knows what she's doing, and she knows what she's talking about. But, you know, like, if everybody who's, like, actually an active participant in the gothic subculture, you know, so, you know, we're, we're fans of the music, you know, we DIY, you know, our sweet little hearts out, um, all of that, um, you know, we engage in these conversations you know, amongst each other about art and music and film and books and, you know, and everything that's even tangentially related to goth, you know, like, um, well, I mean, maybe not everything, everything, but, you know, like, you know, we, we need to take a stand against this bullshit like hers and, uh, I don't know, I guess Dr. Tear seems nice enough, she just advertises all the goddamn time, but, you know, I think really, we really do need to take this stand and just like, you know, just so she can get it through her head that, you know, we're, I, I, we're done with the bullshit. Just like, you know, you know, she tries to, you know, put a band-aid on this problem of younger people who are genuinely interested in goth. You know, they love the music, but they think they can't really be goth because they can't afford, you know, the, this wardrobe of tens of thousands of dollars that she's shilling, you know, and she thinks she can put a band-aid on that and say, oh, no, you can just go to thrift stores if you want, just wear all black if you want, and, you know, you know like I said, you know, she says that, but then, you know, we've got, like, the last, like, year or two, you know, where she's just done fuck all but shill tens of thousands of dollars worth of clothes. Like I said, I totally see what Fright Summers is saying. I really do. And, you know, it's not that, you know, the gothic lifestyle is too expensive, because that's just a clickbaity title. You listen to her, and she's actually talking about, you know, the, uh, the brands, you know, these lifestyle brands like Killstar and Punk Rave, and, um, I don't know, those are the big ones that, you know, everybody talks about, and, um, you know, it's these quote-unquote lifestyle brands, you know, that she's talking about, where it's too expensive, that if this is all you know about, um, about gothic, um, about gothic, um, attire and gothic, you know, style, if that's all you know, then of course it's going to seem too expensive, and, you know, but then, you know, we've got people like, uh, like Radically Dark, who's got, like, what, like, maybe 2,000 subscribers at most, 
I know she's I know she's got a very tiny amount compared to uh, com compared to Black Friday and Toxic Tears, but like I said, like she has some of literally the best DIY ideas I've seen. Like, um, you know, in my twenty five years as a goth, seriously, she's got some of the best DIY projects, and you really need to go check her out. Uh, I've got a I've got a playlist that I've curated of you know best gothic DIY ideas, and pretty much every one of hers I see, um, it almost automatically goes on that list. Uh, I've got a bunch from a few other people as well, but you know nearly everything of hers that I've seen so far, all of her DIY ideas, they're all in that list. You know because you know she she's she's just brilliant with them, and you know like every project that I've seen her do. Um, it's like, I don't know, in American money, you're going to be spending maybe $20 if you know how to, uh, thrift some of the materials, you know, or hit the sales at, you know, crafts, you know, or coupons. You know, here's the thing is like Joanne and Michael's, uh, those are the two major, uh, U.S. craft stores. Uh, they will honor each other's coupons. So, you know, if you have them, well, as long as there's one in your area. So they'll honor competitors' coupons. So, um... So yeah, um, and you know, Joanne is putting out 40% off coupons all the time. So, you know, hit the coupons, hit the sales, um, you know, hit the thrift shops, you know, $20 tops are, is like most of her ideas. And, you know, pff, I don't know, uh, Skull Girl does her, you know, little dark and lazy DIY projects. And honestly, like between coupons and thrifting, I can't imagine most of those being more than $10. But then again, you know, if, and if you've got stuff already, like, you know, like the fabric paints and whatnot, hi, Kitty. You're really interested in being in my lap right now, aren't you? But, uh, but yeah, so that's me rambling on for well over 20 minutes about, you know, because I'm done. I'm done with, I'm done with Black Friday's bullshit. It's a whole little, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry video. It's like, you know, she wants to paint herself as this victim of, you know, the of the German government when anybody who has watched her channel for the last few years, especially since she's been in Germany, you, you know, this is this is like maybe a you know, this was maybe a step above a sham marriage. You know, like she was she pretty much like, you know, dove head first, you know, the whole like, you know, second date U-Haul kind of thing, which, you know, is... I don't know. It's a, it's a it's an LGBT joke about lesbians, but I'm not a but you know I'm a gay man, so I feel a little dirty repeating that. But he's pulling this, you know, like getting a U-Haul on the second date, you know, you know, but you know, but then some, you know, uh, and you know she gets married to this guy so she can secure residency, and then they divorce, and she has the nerve to be surprised. You know, she's not the victim here. You know, she's not the victim here. Not at all. You know, maybe she genuinely did not get this letter she says she never got. You know, um, that's certainly possible. That's certainly possible, of course. Um, you know, I've, you know, there are, there are letters I swear, um, you know, Michigan's DHS never sent me uh, about food stamps, or not food stamps, it's my, uh, it's my Medicaid that's, um, that's all screwy right now where I've only got limited Medicaid um, coverage. Um, uh, the Medicare is a different thing, but, you know, so, uh, and, you know, and then they'll send these ones, that, and then they'll resend it, but it's, you know, like, it, you know, my response has to be postmarked, like, that day or something. So, yeah, it's, it's perfectly, you know, reasonable to think that, you know, okay, maybe, you know, she genuinely did not get this. At the same time, though, I know how ridiculous the bureaucracy with these things can be in the States, and I lived temporarily um, in the UK with my eldest sister and my brother-in-law, and uh, I have... Um, uh, I... And I know the UK is not Germany, but I, I genu genuinely have more trust in the German government than I do in the U.S. to be a bit on the ball about these things. So, I don't know. It's quite possible she genuinely never received this letter. 
On the other hand, it's possible she received it, assumed it was something, you know, completely different, and tossed it. It's also possible that she, you know, saw it, saw what it was, but kept putting it on the back burner until she forgot about it. Um, but yeah, she's she's not the victim here. She She got married to somebody that she barely knew, all things considered. You know, she goes on, you know, in some of her more recent ones about how, oh, Mr. Al is my soulmate. Then why did you fucking marry the German guy, right? <laughs> What'd you go and do that for? You, you did it for residency. Like, like quit your bullshit, hon. Just, just quit. Just quit. You know, just, just quit your bullshit. Because, you know, we all know, I mean... And those who say that they don't, but have still been, you know, watching your nonsense about as long as I have, um, you know, they're just lying to themselves because, you know, they think it'll get in good with you, and, you know, you're this big, enormous YouTube star. Well, yeah, fuck. Who cares? Who cares at that point? Because, you know, you're, you're pulling this poor me act like you're some kind of victim here when y you, you literally got married for residency and now you're, you know, pulling this poor me act because, you know, you're not allowed to live there anymore because y your marriage fell apart. And, <laughs> like, really? Like, what did you expect would happen? What did you think would happen? Did you th I mean, like, uh, 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 like uh, I know that there are, uh, that, that there's a lot of people going on about, you know, the, uh, the state of Europe being, you know, taken over by, uh, refugees from Syria and Palestine and all that. So, like, I really hope that, y you know, she's just really stupid. I really hope she's stupid. I really hope she's stupid. Because the other option would be, is like, you know, would be that she's racist. You know, that would be the thing, though, right? You know, would be that she's racist because she's thinking, okay, maybe they're spending so many t so much time, you know, like, you know, trying to, you know, find some ways to, you know, get the, uh, get the, get the brown people out of here that maybe let us just, like, look over me and, you know, I won't, you know, have to worry about, you know, taking care of, you know, securing my residency for however long. <laughs> Yeah, because that's the only other option, right? That's the only other option is she's gonna think that they're so focused on you know the brown people looking names, but uh, but no, that's that's just speculative on my end. So uh, so yeah, uh, looks like my phone wants me to be done with this. So I'm gonna go figure out what the hell I'm doing tonight as far as everything goes. I can't take this package back until Tuesday because of President's Day, and. Um, and I hope I have very little headache involved in that. So, uh, <sighs> so, bats and kisses, sweethearts, and I love you all so very much. And please take care of yourselves, and goodbye.